blended both of our events together today so that everybody would have an opportunity to uh, meet Jeff. So um, I was asked just to talk about kind of uh, sort of how I got here. It was a building on South Olive. It was called the Pan American Bank. I don't know, does anybody remember what knew what that is? I've always been wondering which building that was. I may even own it now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, as it turns out, it was, the market was very, very undervalued. Um, I bought my first house for $36,900, $7,000 now. And, uh, and then the market, the market was so good that, that um, three years later I sold that house for $85,000. I caught an amazing big wave, like we don't see today, but you know. And I rode that wave and the market just, the market went up. I, I had this old friend, John Paulson, who had a hedge fund that was mostly doing mergers and acquisitions, and I went to ask his advice. And he said, uh, he's shorting subprime mortgages. I said, what's a subprime mortgage? And he said, well, I'm using derivative. I said, what's a derivative? He says, well, it's credit default stuff. I said, what's a credit default stuff? So, um, you know, but basically, he, he gave me about a, a few hours of his time. He's such a genius. How did you, how did you know that the market was going to crash? You never know what else to do. So smart. And I said, well, the front page of The Economist said, housing crash coming. <laughs> to me, is just a, a, a very dynamic, exciting place. And I kind of feel like, I came here when it's sort of like a jigsaw puzzle, like all the big pieces are already have been put in. I personally have a long-term utopia, view, not a dystopia. I really believe that long-term we're just kind of grow as a society in which everybody thinks I'm supposed to make more money than I did last, than I made last year. I'm supposed to have a bigger house than my parents have. I'm supposed to have a better lifestyle. How do you go from that value system to one where? And this Palm Beach was basically pretty much being written off the map. It's just, a, you know, it's, it's kind of like some of these auto towns in Michigan, you know, that was a dead city, very, very smart. And they managed to get, you know, with City Place, Clamata Street, downtown has become safe, it's vital, it's exciting. Um, you know, the outlet mall, you can get to learn as much as you can, get as good an education as you can, ask as many questions as you can, learn as much as you can, and work as hard as you can. I mean, if you do all that stuff, the rest of the rest is going to be left off to Lady Luck and Fate. So.